Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another edition of MSATP TV. Joining us today is Matthew Power, and Matthew is, is one of our speakers at the uh, seminar that we're going to be having about the introvert's edge and uh, a guide to marketing and things like that. And Matthew's going to tell us about growing our business and, and what it means to do that. So, Matthew, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you're going to talk about? Absolutely. And, you know, I'm, I'm ecstatic about doing this event. You know, I've spent a lot of time, you know, coaching and consulting for uh, different small accounting practices. And one of the things that I know is that every accounting practice kind of wants rapid growth. However, a lot of them aren't in the place to obtain rapid growth because they're stuck in the minutia of their, their current business. So that's what I'm really going to be talking about, how to obtain rapid growth and how to get beyond the problems that you have so that you're actually ready for rapid growth. Now, I actually spoke at one of your conferences uh, last year and, you know, it was an overwhelming success predominantly because I think most people that are probably watching have never actually experienced a sales and marketing session specifically designed for accountants. And right. the, the problem that they all face is a lot of them believe that they can't network like everybody else. They can't sell like everyone else. That you know, you say you're an accountant, everybody runs away, or they, they get overwhelmed with the jargon. And, and that's always been the problem. Whenever I go to a highly complex topic matter session, like, like we did at your last, uh, last event. Now, for those that don't know me, by the way, my name is Matthew Pollard, I'm known as the rapid growth guy. And I am the author of the introverts edge book series. And the, the reason why that makes me uniquely qualified to help the people in the accounting space is let's face it, a lot of people in the accounting space are introverted, but even a lot of the extroverts, because they're kind of selling themselves, which is uncomfortable if people say, no, I mean, how do you not take rejection personally? And because they're offering so much complex ideology in a, uh, to, to their ideal clients, often they get bogged down in that jargon and therefore can't get their clients to commit. Now, that often leads to conversations about price, often discounting, and that's a terrible place to be. So what I find is most accountants spend their life stuck in this hamster wheel of struggling to find interested people, trying to set themselves apart, trying to make the sale, feeling like their clients only care about one thing, price. And because of that, they're in this, this they feel stuck. And worse than that, they feel like all of their clients perhaps don't appreciate their opinions like they should. They're constantly pushing them to you know, consider outsourced bookkeeping or bookkeeping out of the Philippines or, oh, I can get it cheaper somewhere else. They feel disrespected. So the whole concept around this session that we're going to be doing is really about focusing on helping everybody understand that rapid growth is really possible for their business, but it's not by focusing on their functional skill. I mean, they're already amazing about it, that. It's about focusing on three things outside the scope of their functional skill that really can allow them to have a rapid growth business doing what they love. Now, we're going to be focusing on those three principles. And then I'm, I'm, I'm honestly going to confront everybody that's going to be there with a perhaps stark reality of the fact that a lot of the businesses that are there aren't going to be ready for rapid growth. And I'm going to be sharing a story of a person that you all know well, um, Jonathan, who um, I, for those that saw the last session, we did a, a, a case study with him, but really breaking down what are the steps you need to do to go from working way more hours for far less money than you should to turning your clients into the profit centers that they, sh they should be for your business. And you know, for those people that were at the last session, we're gonna go deeper into exactly what we applied for Jonathan in order to get him to retain way more clients than we even wanted him to retain and you know far exceed the the revenue targets that he had i mean for those people that know jonathan well you'll know that he more than 3x his profits while maintaining a lot of clients but now he's also bringing in more clients and paying him even more money so we're going to go through exactly step by step what he did to take you in order at the end of that session so you can run out and actually take yourself from oh my gosh, I'm working way too many hours and not making enough money and my clients aren't respecting me. So I'm making amazing money. I'm working far less hours and my clients are actually respecting my advice. Once we get to that, we'll then show you again exactly what you can do to actually apply the principles. And I have to be honest, a lot of that's going to be about getting you to take action. So I'm going to be giving you the strategies you need to get yourself in the right mental space to actually reignite that fire in your belly to go out and do it. Like Jonathan, I could have given him every bit of advice in the world, but if he didn't do it, it would have been pointless, right? So I had to get him behind the belief that it was possible 
as well as get him out of his own way. And that's what we're going to be focusing on in the second part of the session. The third part of the session is really focusing on storytelling and then moving into the fourth session, which greatly leverages the power of story. We're going to be talking about how to introduce what you do in a networking conversation, how to introduce what you do in a more structured conversation when somebody reaches out with out to you to work with them, where closure rates should be above 80%, not below 20 with conversations around pricing. And to do that, we're also going to be breaking down exactly how you can package in a price in a way that stimulates purchasing behavior as, a, as opposed to leaving the customer overwhelmed, wanting to think about it, asking for a proposal, which I'm sure happens way too often for you. You know, Jonathan's closure rate was, was dismal before we started to working together now he closes people on the call which doesn't happen that often in the accounting industry and i've seen that happen time and time again for my clients so for a lot of you you've all focused up until now on getting better at your functional skill learning how to perfect the art of what you do but the truth is without clients that pay you well it's all kind of pointless that's what this session's about it's about transforming exactly the way you market yourself transforming the way that you sell yourself so that you don't feel inauthentic incongruent pushy in any way but just make more money right well <clears throat> i was uh, i was in an event over the weekend and uh, i i was sitting with a group of accountants and attorneys and um and i'm just talking to them and telling them stories like like what you taught us to do and everything and it was amazing how many of them gave me their business card that they want to talk to me and uh I'm like, wow, this is crazy um, because they all do the same thing that I do. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it, it really does work. And uh, and one of the advantages that you have by taking a session this time of the year is you can start getting some of the things in, in order and, and set up and structured so that when tax season rolls around, not only are you ready for tax season, you're prepared for tax season. And that is so huge. Um, you, marketing isn't one of those things you can just turn a switch on. Um, it, it takes time to build that up. So we're giving you the opportunity to listen to Matthew, learn a lot about what he's saying, and still give you six months out of the year that you can build up your own business so that you're ready for next tax season. Absolutely. Um, and I will, I will tell you, Bill, the number of people that are probably watching this right now and saying, you know what, now's not a good time, though, because I need to I need to focus on my functional skill. But the problem is there's never a good time to focus on sales and marketing. The, but if you don't do sales and marketing, then there's never, ever, ever going to be a good time. And it's always going to get worse and worse of a time. Because right. the truth is, you've got clients that are treating you poorly. You've got all these regulations and rules that you got to follow. If you don't start to get paid what you deserve, if you don't start to shift that, your business is always going to be struggling. Your business is always going to be much more stressful than it needs to be. And in truth, you're not even helping your clients the way they deserve to be helped, which you're going to enjoy doing much, much more. So you sure. have to make a decision to, to make a shift in your business. You know, I, I think a lot of people will be amazed with the story I'm going to tell. But the more you charge, the more clients and referrals you get because it's that perceived value. If you're charging $75 an hour, oh, he must not be very good. Uh, you know, you charge $200 or $300 an hour, and now all of a sudden, boy, those are words of wisdom. So we need to listen to that. And, uh, and at $300 an hour, it doesn't take Einstein to figure out that you're making more money than $75 an hour. So get yourself geared up, hyped up, um, listen to what Matthew has to say, turn on the switch, and let's get moving with our, our sales and marketing for this summer. And that way we're ready for tax season. Absolutely. And I will say, Bill, you're giving... I, you're almost giving away this event. Um, you know, I have to say that usually when I do an event like this, it's in the thousands and thousands of dollars for people. And you're the, the I mean, the price that you're offering and those people that haven't even checked the price, make sure you do it because I mean, the price that you're offering, maybe maybe that was the answer. Maybe we should have charged 10 times more so that people went, oh my gosh, this is this is something that I need to do. But the truth right. is that we wanted to make sure there was nothing really in anyone's way to coming along to this session. I mean, I'm literally going to be coaching everybody that joins 
on a step-by-step -step process to get themselves out of this day-to-day -day hustle that's killing them and their business and their family because we all know what it's like around tax season. And for those people that haven't witnessed the transition in Jonathan's energy levels that he's had because his business is now better, people respect his opinion, he's got better systems in play, and he can afford to get help now where in the past he was just under the bump all the time. So right. It's about making the decision. And I, I get that, you know, we all have to be very, very picky about how we spend our time. But this day worth of training will make your life forever better. And the steps that you will learn, I will give you a roadmap to implement them over the next six months so that when it gets to the next tax season, you may still have a similar number of clients, but you've got the processes set in play so it's not so stressful. Also, they're paying you a lot more so you can afford help and support or you reduce the clients, but you earn a lot more so you're still making more money for doing less work. Either way, you win. But until you start making the tough decision of, I need to set a package and then introduce that to my current client so I get my bandwidth back while making more money and then so I can take on more clients than respect my time, you're never going to get the opportunity to, to, to really make the money you deserve, which is, of course, going to affect your ability to retire well, make your business sellable, which, I mean, at the end of the day, you deserve more than this for the amount of work you put in to your career, your profession, your business, and for the work you've done with your clients. So I would really recommend everyone come along to this session because you will learn how to make your life better forever. Okay. And the session is going to be on June the 22nd. And uh, it's a full day event. And you will get the, um, the opportunity to listen to Matthew talk to you and help you set up your business the right way. And it's all for the low, low price of the $280. So the same cost as a full day seminar, and um, you, I mean, you've got a great opportunity to, to build your business. It isn't often that opportunities like this come along, so make sure you take advantage of it. Um, you get lunch and Matthew, and boy, what else could anybody ask for for a day? Absolutely. And I will say it's not all hard presentation. It's we're going to be doing some implementation practice where there's going to be a lot of workshop elements where we're actually going to be testing things out, trying things out. My goal is not that you walk out knowing a lot of stuff. I mean, that will happen, but it's that you know how to exactly do it. And that can only uh, happen through, you know, implementation, practice, rehearsal. We're going to be getting into that nitty gritty stuff so that you walk out confident that you can do it. I'm even going to be giving away templates and frameworks to how to email your clients to get the price up, how to structure a phone call to get your price up, how to structure an inbound phone call, how to get the deal done over the phone so there's less follow up and stress, right? These are templates that I've never actually given out before. And, you know, I was kind of blown away at the price tag. Bill uh, told me he was charging for this, but Bill was very, very focused for everyone that's watching. He was very, very focused on making sure that everybody got access to this and that there was no barrier because he's seen so often how many people are stressed about the clients that aren't treating them well, how they're always running to the finish line and then having to nap, sleep for the next two weeks to recover mentally and physically. It's just enough, right? right? We've made this, we've made this accessible to make sure that that stops happening because the truth is you can make a ton more money. We've proven it time and time again in the accounting field. The only thing that's in your way is you. Well, actually, the only thing in your way is you not coming to this event. So I would, right. you know, as, as, as Bill highlighted, you know, you got free lunch, you're going to get, uh, you're going to get our company and you're welcome to play devil's advocate. You're welcome to give me a hard time. You're welcome to heckle because if we're doing all of that, we're getting to the outcome we need, which is you all creating rapid growth businesses that you deserve. Exactly. And, and, you know, we want to make your life easier as a preparer and technician. Um, and this is an opportunity for you to learn how to build systems to make that, that life easier for you. And, uh, and at the same time, make more money, um, have more time, do all the things the way you're supposed to. And that's how you'll be able to measure success. And think about the value that you'll be building in your business so that when you've decided that it's time for you to retire, how much more people would be willing to pay you because you've got this program and, and, and system in place. And, uh, and it's a process. And now you've got that in place and you're ready to go. And the next person can take over and move along. So make sure you join us um, June 22nd. 
And uh, it's, a, it's a full day event from eight to four. And we're looking forward to seeing everybody there. So Matthew, I would just like to say, I appreciate you taking your time out of your schedule to join us today. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you on the 22nd. And, uh, and I wanna learn what to do so that uh, I, can, I can make my retirement better. <laughs> well, it's my pleasure. And as, as you know, there's nothing that I'm more motivated to do than help functional skill professionals, specifically those that do their best to service small businesses. Because the truth is, without a lot of times, the average accountant is the only advisor that a business gets. And if mm -hmm. those people don't have the time, the mental capacity to support their clients, then nobody will. And if you're not charging what you deserve to get paid, you can't give them. You just can't give them the bandwidth that they deserve because they're not paying you for it. And you've got to work with so many more clients and you're too stressed and mentally told to be able to provide them the help that they need. So I'm passionate about helping the survival rate of small business. I'm passionate about making sure every business, every business owner has a rapid growth business that revolves around their family and their life. And, and that's just not possible unless people are getting great advice. And it's not possible unless their advisors are in the right place to give great advice. So for me, you know, I do, I do a lot to help business coaches and I do a lot to help accountants because those are the last lines of defense for business owners to truly succeed. So you owe it to yourself to come to this session. And, you know, I will be there to serve you during that time because I think that the, the work that you do, there's nothing more important. I just want to make sure that you have the bandwidth to do it well and you get paid to do it well. Okay. Well, thank you, Matthew. And we'll see you on the 22nd. I'm looking see you forward all on the to 22nd. it. See you on the 22nd. Cheers, everyone. Bye.